That are alive, you are coming with me. Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. Today we are building something from uh, Robocop. I'm a child of the 80s and from time to time I get suggestions that really kind of hit that nostalgia button for me and make me want to build it. And somebody commented recently and a few months ago that I should make a Robocop helmet and I took that as the original, not the remake. So I am going to make the 1987 Robocop helmet out of foam. Let's get to building. Sometimes I get lucky on a build and can use the phone app Sketchfab to bring up 3D models to use as a reference while patterning. Um, this was just one of those cases. I take that 3D model, then I make a pattern just freehanding basically until I get it right, and then I trace it onto 6mm EVA. I heat form the top parts of the helmet to get the right shape. If you overdo it, you can always heat up the parts again once you've connected them and undo some of the curve. My contact cement of choice is barge. I lay down a single layer on the edges, wait a few minutes, and then connect them together. The U-shaped lines on my templates are there to help you line up the parts to another area.
I added a dart in the middle of this part after I had already recorded this because the shape was a little off so it is adjusted in the template. You will see several parts that have overlap areas. Mark these areas on your parts so that you can align the pieces up properly. The bottom layer and the undervent are on the same level. You could cut these out as one piece. Sometimes when I'm designing templates, it's not till after I've already cut out the pieces of foam that I realize parts could be combined. To add that recess ring, I used just painter's tape to keep the spacing right around the edges. Then I cut it out, trimmed off about half an inch of that little strip, and then reconnected it. It's difficult to line it up just right, so take your time, work around the circle slowly to put the parts back together. The 3D model I used as a reference didn't have the engraved OCP Police 001 detail on it, and I didn't realize till after I'd already painted it that I was missing something, so I ended up just drawing that in with a sharpie over the top of my paint job. I also added on some battle damage using the wood burner to give it a he just got in a big fight effect. Two coats of Plasti Dip of course, then I masked off areas and misted some silver spray paint over the top. To 
dirty it up, I added some acrylic paint in the cracks and wiped off most of it with a paper towel. This leaves behind paint in the low points to kind of give it a dirty, grimy, battle-worn effect. For large lenses on builds, I often use the Hobart face shield replacement that I found on Amazon. It's flexible, it's thin, it's easy to cut. There's a link to them on my affiliates page in the description to this video. And we are finished. Here is the end result. Overall, it's it's okay. There are a few things that kind of bug me about it. Um, it's over 100 degrees for the past couple days here in Texas. And while I was painting, some of the seam lines opened back up because of the heat. And um, they're very visible. I could have gone in and put some quick seal over that and then painted over it again, but um, I didn't. Hey. I do like the design of it. Um, I like the new one too. I'm, I may have to make that one as well. Um, it's a lot more futuristic, but I think this one turned out pretty cool. Maybe you will try and make this Robocop helmet and rid the world of crime or bring back a partially dead cop and turn him into a crime buster. Yeah. Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these, tell them much props. Believe it or not, this is a modified version of my template for my Batman Wasteland helmet.